Why the NFL Draft Class of 2011 was the greatest of all time. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Touchdown Nation. Imagine for a moment that your NFL team was JJ Watt and Robert Quinn rushing the passer at defensive end. Marcel Darius and Nick Fraley line up in the middle to stop the run. Von Miller, Justin Houston, and Alden Smith are your stand-up rushers from the second level. Patrick Peterson and Richard Sherman are your shutdown corners, and Prince Amakumara is your nickelback. Cam Newton starts at quarterback, but you've got Colin Kaepernick or Andy Dalton on the bench if you need them. Their targets? How does AJ Green, Julio Jones, Randall Cobb, and Torrey Smith sound? Julius Thomas, probably the second best tight end in football, is on your team too, but just in case he falters, Jordan Cameron and Kyle Rudolph are there to back him up. DeMarco Murray carries the load at running back, and giving your host of playmakers time to do their thing are Tyron Smith, Nate Solder, and Mike Pouncey. Considering it typically takes three years to evaluate player performance in scouting circles, but the remarkable play of this rookie's class is unlike anything I witnessed during my time, 17 plus years, in the NFL, unlike their predecessors who were able to assimilate to the pro game with the assistance of mini camps, organized team activities, and other offseason workouts, this year's group was thrown directly into the fire with limited preparation due to lockout. While the loss of extensive offseason training wouldn't appear to be a major issue, with more players turning to private trainers and skill development, coaches to hone their respective games, the lack of access to their teams on coaching staffs forced this rookie class to take the field without a thorough understanding of their position or the playbook. That's why the exceptional performances of Cam Newton, Alden Smith, Vaughn Miller, Andy Dalton, AJ Green, and Patrick Peterson should be viewed in a different context due to these unique circumstances. No other class in recent memory has been able to produce as many playmakers on the verge of shattering some of the hollowed records in this league without an extensive introduction of the game. Miller, Green, and Peterson are the three rookies to earn a Pro Bowl honors in 2011. But all these players are special. That is a testament to their sheer talent, work ethic, and independent preparation. It also suggests that their potential for career achievement is through the roof, and we should be prepared to see several players from this class rank as perennial Pro Bowlers for the majority of their respective careers. Let us now take a look at some of the best players from the 2011 NFL Draft. Cam Newton, QB, Carolina Panthers. Newton is on the verge of revolutionizing the quarterback position as we know it. His combination of arm and athleticism is breathtaking, and his remarkable production as a first-year starter has been off the charts. Newton established new marks for passing yards by a rookie and rushing touchdowns by any quarterback, while transforming the Panthers' pedestrian offense into one of the most explosive in the league. OLB, Von Miller, Denver Broncos. Miller has shown no ill effects from the torn ACL he suffered at the end of 2013. With 10 sacks and 10 games for the Broncos this season, and has teamed up with DeMarcus Ware to form one of the league's best pass rushing duos. The Defensive Rookie of the Year has 45 career sacks, two Pro Bowl nods, and one All-Pro designation. AJ Green, WR, Cincinnati Bengals. Green's numbers will fall well shortly of Randy Moss's phenomenal first season, but his impact is eerily similar. He has quickly teamed with Andy Dalton to give the Bengals a formidable passing combination and the rest of the NFL is finding out how difficult it is to defend a talented playmaker with remarkable athleticism. OL Tyron Smith Dallas Cowboys. Smith has become one of the best left tackles in the game since being drafted in 2011, earning Pro Bowl honors last season. He's one of the key cogs in a Cowboys offensive line that has paved the way for a near historic rushing season by DeMarco Murray and appears to be justifying the 10 year, 109 million contract he signed with the Cowboys this offseason. Julio Jones, WR, Atlanta Falcons. Thomas Dimitrov gave up a king's ransom to secure Jones in the draft, but the reward has been well worth the risk based on his exceptional rookie season. Jones has become the Falcons' most dynamic weapon in the passing game and given Matt Ryan another viable option to lean on in the clutch. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I know you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.